ADHD is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Everything is technically ADHD, but if they're not hyperactive, they're just called inattentive type. There's sort of an arbitrary differentiation because um, the treatments are similar. Most experts agree 7.5% or so of 8% of all children legitimately carry a diagnosis of ADHD. Approximately 50% of those individuals, as they grow into adulthood, will, quote, outgrow the illness, such that the prevalence in adulthood is said to be around 4%. You know, the relief that parents have when they're able to accurately figure out through the doctor's help and diagnosis of exactly what the problem is, that they've been able to report it back to us, very high success with, with mitigating the ADD, ADHD symptoms. That's been cool. One of the tiebreakers, again, is brain imaging. It's like, if you have these symptoms, uh, we can do our clinical assessments, but why don't we take a look at the organ that's responsible for behavior in human beings, that is the brain, and see how it's actually working. It's very important, as always, to get an accurate diagnosis. You have to be aware for traumatic brain injury. You have to look out for anxiety disorders. You have to screen for depression. You have to do a full uh, evaluation. Having done that, if you're still confused, it's really important to get objective brain imaging information of how the person's brain is functioning.